Welcome to the LightFunnels Page Builder. The Page Builder allows you to create and edit all the pages in your funnel. The Builder has three main areas. The left sidebar, where you can edit most of the settings, the top bar, and the preview area where you can see what your page looks like. Let's start with the sidebar. The first option is Sections. Under the Sections panel, you can choose pre-built sections from different categories. These sections are pre-built for you and they are ready to be used on your page. To add a section, simply drag it and drop it on your page. Notice that the style of the section will match the style of the theme that you are currently using. The second option is the Elements tab. From here, you can add different elements to your page. There are different categories of elements that you can choose from. To add an element, simply drag it and drop it on your page. You can learn more about each element by visiting our documentation website. Every element on the page can be edited on the sidebar using the Edit tab. The Edit tab is automatically selected whenever you select an element on the page. For each element, you can edit the content, the style, and the layout. The Layers panel gives you an overview of all the elements on the page in a tree view. Sometimes, an element on the page can get very small or it could be hidden. In that case, the Layers panel can be very useful. You can click any element on the Layers panel to select it or double-click it to go to the Edit tab. The Styles tab allows you to edit the general style of your funnel. This allows you to edit different fonts and colors inside of your funnel without having to go through each element and change its color or font individually. Let's for example change the primary color here. You will notice that both the title and the button are changing colors at the same time because they are both using the same primary color. We'll talk more about these styles in the Funnel Styles video. The last option on the sidebar is the settings. Here you can choose the slug of the page. This is the last part of the link that leads to this page. For example, let's call it Hyperglam. The title of the page is the title that appears in the Funnel Builder. And then the page type. Whether this is a product page, a checkout page, an upsell, a downsell, etc. Under the SEO tab, you can add your search engine optimization information like the page title and page description and some keywords. And then under custom HTML, you can add your custom HTML code like CSS or JavaScript. On the top bar, you can change the current product that is linked to this page. For example, let's change the product on this page and set it to another product. You will notice that all the details on the page have been updated to match the newly selected product. This saves you a lot of time because you don't have to go through each element on the page and change its content. To learn more about how to build pages that have dynamic elements like this, check out the data binding tutorial. Next we have the preview button to preview the page without leaving the page builder and the devices buttons that allow you to preview the page on different device sizes. These buttons also help us create fully responsive designs. You can learn more about how to build responsive pages on the responsive design tutorial. The X-ray button shows an outline on all the elements on the page to help you see clearly how everything is positioned. The pop-up menu is where you manage your pop-ups, like email sign-up pop-ups or video pop-ups. And then there is the preview button to preview the page on a new browser tab. The preview area allows you to select elements, drag them around, select their parents, duplicate them or delete them. That's a quick overview of the page builder. I hope this video was helpful to you and I will talk to you in the next video.